Today, I'm going to get started for real on turning this empty shell and bed into a proper camper kind of thing. You can see I've got materials over there. So we're going to get started. I'm going to start up top and then work on the bottom. One of the first things I need to do is take this old light out. It's uh, not going to be adequate for what I want to do, so it just needs to go away. There's that removed. Lots of spiders. I think that'll work. That'll be the first piece. While I'm sitting here editing this, I realized that I really didn't explain anything that I do during this part of the video. So what you're seeing is that I'm spraying some uh, contact adhesive, it's like 3M industrial glue or something, up onto the fiberglass, and then I'm going to spray some onto the back of the foam insulation board as well. With that adhesive, you spray both sides of what you want to stick together. You let it sit for two to three minutes so that it can tack up a little bit, and then push it onto each other, and it cures in like a day or two, but it sticks almost immediately. So it's some good stuff. It's uh, not cheap and the cans don't last very long, but it does a really good job. So what you'll see me doing kind of throughout this video and through some of this time-lapse area is I'm spraying the adhesive onto the one side of the insulation and the inside of the shell and then stick them together. And using that I can kind of piece together a whole jigsaw puzzle on the inside of the camper shell. So a quick update. I have all the insulation on the camper shell. It's a half inch thick foam with a foil backing. You can see it's not perfect. There's some gaps and small spots that need to be filled in, but I am overall pretty happy with where it's at. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some foil tape and use that to fill in spaces like right here where there's little holes in the insulation. So I'm just gonna cover all those with some foil tape. So yeah, that's the next step. Update. All the tape is in. I've sealed up a lot of the gaps and cracks between the pieces of insulation. And that should help keep it all together to make sure I don't have rogue pieces trying to fly off. So next, I'm gonna cut out a piece of carpet that goes up here. roof carpet is in and actually looking pretty good I was uh, worried it was gonna be sagging and dangling in places but it actually looks pretty good I'm pretty happy so running out of sunlight sun's starting to go down next steps will be left side right side the back and then probably a little bit around this back window there's some gaps there next I'm going to tackle the left side I'm gonna to have to pull the trim ring off the window put up a piece of carpet and then I'll cut it out around the window.
can see, I've got carpet up on this side now, and I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. You'll probably be able to tell in the time lapse that I had a, quite a bit of trouble getting the trim ring on, but now that it's on, I actually feel pretty good about it. This looks nicer than I expected, and it's coming along pretty well. You can see the seam along here, but I'm not overly concerned about it because I'm gonna put light strips on either side right there. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Honestly, that took a lot longer than I expected it to. But after about two days of work, I have everything I want carpeted on the inside of the bed and inside of the shell. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out for my first time doing any kind of carpeting. This actually looks really nice. Now I'm going to go on to building the sleeping platform that's going to go in here and getting that carpeted. So yeah, that's where we're at.